How about it? We have a great one tonight. Rex Ryan makes his return to MetLife to face his former team, the New York Jets. IK and Impali will be the captain of Bill's Mafia for this one. Now, forget all the wonderful off-the-field storylines. The actual matchup has the biggest playoff implications of Week 10. The Jets are 5-3. and three, The Bills are 4-4. Four and four. Stephen A., Bills, Jets, who wins? Well, I'm going with the Jets. I mean, Ryan Fitzpatrick is supposed to play last time I checked, and I think that, you know, he'll do what he can not to lose this game. Hopefully the Jets running run attack will return. Uh, hope, you know, you just look at them right now and their defense. I mean, Tyrod Taylor is no joke, and you got to be mindful of him. And LaShawn McCoy had a decent game last week. you got to be mindful of that as well. But I think this defense, how hyped up they'll be to go up against Rex Ryan's Buffalo Bills, I think they'll ultimately get do the trick, and they'll get the job done. And I think that Tyrod Taylor doesn't have the multitude of weapons you would need in order to beat this Jets defense. The Jets have to show up, please don't get me wrong. This is not a gimme by any stretch of the imagination, but I think it being at MetLife Stadium, I think it being one of those situations where Tyrod Taylor is a relatively inexperienced quarterback, although he can play, going up against uh, this bevy of experienced individuals on the defensive side of the ball, I think it can be a defensive struggle, but I ultimately think it's something that the Jets can pull out. I'm going to pick the Jets to win this game 24-20, to 20, Skip. 24-20. to 20. Yes, you're probably right. I don't love what I'm about to predict. In a vacuum with no strings attached, I would go with your prediction. I would pick the Jets at the Jets to beat the Bills. But as you know, before the year started, I predicted that the Bills would win a wild card. You predicted that the Jets would win a wild card. So here we are. Bills 4-4, four and four, Jets 5-3. and three. Nip tuck for that last wild card, or a wild card slot. And I, I got to have the courage of my convictions, as you ridicule me for saying, I'm going to have to stand strong with my Buffalo Bills today, even though I don't love it. Because I think we're getting to that moment of truth here in which we find out, is Rex Ryan a fraud? Is that what he is? Is, is he just a showman fraud? Is he a sleight of hand, sort of sleight of mouth, you know, great media session giver, you know, a press conference doer. Is, is that what he is? Is, is? is he all about the bluster and not about the results? Because as you well know, and you keep bringing up, first two years with the Jets, they go 20 and 12 combined, make it to two AFC title games. Won four playoff games, most in Jets history. And then what happened the last four years? As you keep reminding me, nothing. They missed the playoffs the last four years in New York. And now I look at the ranks. Last year, the Bills' defense was ranked second in the National Football League. Right now, it's 16th under Rex. Hmm, not very good. Last year, the Jets fell to 25th in overall defense. I know they had injuries. I know they didn't have Revis. But now the Jets are hanging right in there at 7th under Todd Bowles and company. So, looks like Todd Bowles is doing a much better job so far than Rex was able to do last year. This is a mind-blowing stat to me. Bills won last week to get back to 4-4. Four and four. Rex is 2 and 17 after a win I think over the last I think it's over the last 4 years 2 and 17 after a win that's terrible since 2012 since 2012 yeah so what do I got going for me well you had some reservations about Tyrod Taylor taking over this team I I got to tell you he's turned into a pretty special playmaker in this league he makes a lot of big plays I hope he's healthy he had the knee injury he looked pretty good last week still completing 72% of his passes, it's pretty special. And again, against the Jets, who blitz number one, the most in the National Football League, against the Blitz, Tyrod's completing 69% of his passes. So tonight, I got to go with my man Tyrod. I think he's going to make some plays against the, the Blitz that inevitably will come. Sammy Watkins had his career high 168 yards in receptions last week. Maybe he's ready to break out. I'm not sure LaShawn's right. He's got a banged up shoulder, hasn't really been practicing, but he's supposed to go. And I, I don't know. Maybe there's enough playmaking there because Tyrod, when he's been healthy, is four and two. So I'm going to go. I like your 24, so I'll give it to my, my Bills. I'll, I'll give the Jets 22. 24 22, and the Bills make a wild card statement. And maybe Rex makes a little statement as he goes back up against his Jets because if they, if they stink it up tonight, I, I think we're going to have to start wondering whether Rex is for real or not.
Well, let me piggyback off of that to say this about Rex Ryan. Skip Bayless, Rex Ryan is under the microscope right now more than ever before. And here's why. Even in a couple of years that he helped guide, guide the New York Jets to the AFC Championship game as their head coach, he had Mark Sanchez as his quarterback. Now you've got this kid, Tyrod Taylor. It's fair to say, Skip Bayless, he's got a real legitimate quarterback for the first time in his head coaching career. Because if you remember, it was Mark Sanchez and then, you know, I, I, you know, I don't even remember who the hell it was after that, to be quite honest with you. I know Geno ultimately yeah. came. But the point is, is that and you got Greg McElroy out of Alabama and yep. I forgot who else. I mean, you just had you just had a, a potpourri of individuals, none of who were exceptional. And it was what it was. The way that Tyrod Taylor is playing and you've got LaShawn McCoy and Carlos Williams, two individuals who both ran for over 100 yards last week against Miami. And you've got a stud like Sammy Watkins, who, by the way, was targeted eight times and caught all eight passes for 168 yards last week against Miami. Although it was against Miami, here's the reality. The weapons on the Buffalo Bills offense is decent enough where if Rex is what he's supposed to be as a defensive mind, the Buffalo Bills have no business being a 500 football team, and they certainly should beat the Jets tonight. I don't think it will happen. We will see what will happen, but I think that for the rest of this season, we need to give Rex Ryan the microscope he evidently craves so much because he's got enough pieces on offense to keep you in contention of any game besides New England. It's his defense that needs to step up. And if the defense ain't stepping up, who do we need to look at, Skip? You got it. I agree. It has not stepped up so far this year. It better step up tonight. And I think it will. I, I, don't, I, I wouldn't bet a lot of money on it, but it's go Tyrod go tonight for me. I'm really excited for yeah, this the game. Defense, yeah. By the way, the defense is ranked 16th, Skip, yep. and 24th against the pass. Mm. All right, so major playoff implications mm. on the line. Stephen A. has the Jets 24-20. Skip has the Bills 24-22. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Meanwhile, DeAndre Jordan returns to Dallas, but the Mavericks get the last laugh. What will be the lasting impact of last night's reunion?